everyone, it's Christina. Welcome back to another one of my videos. Today I have for you a Worth the Hype video. I haven't done one of these in a while, but today is a really special one because this product is super hyped up here on YouTube, and I've honestly been meaning to do this video for a long time, but I've just never gotten around to it, so here we are today. So if you're new to my channel, I'll just explain the series that I've done real quick, and you can check out all of my previous videos. I'll put them all in the playlist, and I'll leave a card up here so that way you could take a look at them. But I like to review products that are super hyped up here on YouTube just because you never know if a YouTuber is talking about something because they truly like the product or if they're just getting paid to talk about the product. So that's where I come in. I'm not getting paid to talk about this product or anything like that. I just want to review it because I want to tell you guys if it's worth the hype or not. Alright, so the product that I'm going to be talking about today is a Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave After Balm. Yes, technically this is a men's product, but a lot of women actually use it as a face primer. And the person who really put everyone onto this is Nikki Tutorials here on YouTube. She has, I believe, 4 million subscribers, a little bit less, a little bit more. I'm not sure on her exact count, but I know she's up there. And she likes to use this as a face primer just because she feels as though it helps her makeup stay on longer. The reason why she uses this is because the second ingredient in this is actually glycerin. And glycerin, she says, helps make the makeup adhere to the skin a little bit better. So I did my own research because I really wanted to see if that was true or not. And when I looked up glycerin, it doesn't say anything about it helping makeup stay on. It is used in a lot of makeup products, including face primers, but it actually just helps smooth out your skin. Alright, so in this video, I'm actually going to be doing a wear test. I applied this to half of my face because in the past I've used this and applying it all over my face I didn't notice a huge difference so I thought applying it to half of my face I will definitely be able to see a difference and I wanted to record it for you guys so that way you guys can see the difference as well. So if you're interested in this video make sure you keep watching and also don't forget to subscribe. So for the demo, what I'm going to do is actually just apply the Nivea Men Aftershave Balm to half of my face. Um, I have already prepped my skin. I prepped my skin with the Elizabeth Arden Eye Cream. This is my favorite eye cream. I don't have anything left. And then also the Elizabeth um, Arden All Over Miracle Oil. I like this just because it gives me a very dewy look. It's also great for all over your body. So this is what the bottle looks like. It's actually pretty heavy. Um, but yeah, I'm going to mix it up first. Believe it or not, you would think that this is a lot thicker like most primers, but it's actually very, very watery. Um, to show you the consistency, I'm just going to pour it on the back of my hand and a lot does come out. So at first, it just, for one, it's very cold. Two, the smell, it does smell like a man. It does have a man scent, but it does go away. So what I'm going to do is apply it to this side of my face and I'm going to keep rubbing it in in sections until I feel my face start to get sticky. Apply it to my forehead now and the sides of my eyes. I'm gonna make sure I get a good amount on my nose because usually my foundation rubs off on my nose first. For whatever reason it's not sticking on my nose. It's taking a really long time. Now that I've applied it to the one side of my face, I'm going to go ahead and apply my foundation. The foundation that I've been really loving for the past two months is this Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. I'm going to apply this all over my face using this brush. This is Adelium Tools brush, but this isn't the one that I use. So here's the brush that I use. This is Adelium Tools 957 brush. I'm going to apply that to the back of my hand. I'm going to use this hand because I have the product on the other hand. And yeah, so I don't have primer on this side. I have the Nivea Aftershave Primer on this side. I'm going to apply my foundation and we'll see how long it lasts. I just want to do this side first just because I don't want to put the brush on this side and get the product on this side of my face as well. So Alright, so now I'm going to apply it to the other side of my face. Now that I'm done my foundation, I'm just going to go ahead and conceal my face and apply some bronzer and highlight and all that fun stuff. And I'll see you back then. Alright, so it is the end of the night now and I just wanted to show you guys how it wore throughout the day. This is my regular side. You can still see my highlight. You can still see bronzer. Um, foundation always wears for my nose first. 
and pretty much all right here is worn and right here so it's even on both sides I did eat and you can see like whenever I eat I feel like my foundation does start to wear on my chin but the same and then here is what it looks like on this side this is the side that has the Nivea primer on it and I feel like my bronzer and my highlight is pretty much intact um, I don't notice too much wear on this side I don't to me on both sides it looks the same like I have the normal wear that I have any other time but without wearing it like for this side not having primer and this side having a primer to me it's the same exact thing so to me I mean I don't think it's that big of a deal it's five dollars like I don't feel like I wasted my money but this is exactly why I stopped wearing this I stopped using it because I just feel like I never noticed a difference so for me this is really not worth the hype um I don't see what the hype is all about like I don't notice a dramatic difference like right now I really don't know what to say to you guys because I see the same exact thing on both sides like normal wear right in the middle of my face like <laughs> I don't know what else to say if you're interested in my skin type I do have oily combination skin so if that helps any but yeah I mean if you're interested in trying this product out for yourself I will leave a link in the description bar but yeah I really didn't notice a huge difference on either side so make sure you guys comment below let me know what your favorite primer is also give this video a thumbs up if you really like this worth the hype series and that is it I will see you guys in my next video if you have any suggestions for videos also leave them in the description bar below I would love to make videos that you guys want to see. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Also, I did want to announce my giveaway winner. Um, this winner was chosen by Random. So I was giving away these three Kylie lip glosses. The winner is Barzana, I think her name is. Um, I'm really happy that she was actually the winner. She always comments on every single one of my videos so I'm glad like a true subscriber won this giveaway she follows me on all my social media accounts even snapchat so thank you for Zana um I'm I hope that's how you say your name um yeah I will be contacting you and yeah I can't wait to get these out to you again I'm going about two inches only for my scalp